Hey, I'm Georgia Middleman, and you're watching In Style Country. Hey, Chris Keaton here with InStyle Country, and look who I've got. It's Georgia Middleman. Hey. Georgia, how are you? Good. How are you, Chris? I'm doing great. Thanks. Good. So I've known her for a while. She's a great singer-songwriter. Got all this cool cool stuff going on, but I want you to tell me, what's the coolest thing you got going on uh, right now? The coolest thing now, I've had this amazing career in country music, writing songs for big hit mm -hmm. artists, and now I get to mentor young people coming into the business. That's the thing I'm most excited about. That's cool. And I also, I perform with my husband, who's a hit songwriter, Gary Burr, mm -hmm. and we have a duo called Middleman Burr. So we Where do you get the name from? We were not very creative. <laughs> we're like, what can we be? What can we be? Yeah, yeah. Middleman Burr, let's just be that. Perfect. See, we're, we're geniuses. <laughs> I love that. I Thank love you. That. So, any travel plans coming up or anything? Yes, we're actually going to South Africa what? next week. Yes, to teach songwriting. So here's cool the thing I love about life. People have these, I love idea people. And, and this guy had this idea to put safaris with songwriting. And he said, you know what? I'm going to get two hit songwriters from, from America, from Nashville, mm -hmm. to come out and teach songwriting. And we're doing it. We're going to take safaris every day with the group that we're teaching. We're going to just go out and have an amazing time. So, I mean, songwriting leads us to amazing places. That is so that great. Crazy? That is crazy, but it's so cool. I mean, it's just, it's just. It's really, really cool. It's awesome. That's We've been to Ireland and England, and it's just, just to perform and talk songwriting, and we love it. That's fantastic. Thanks. Okay, so a little bit more about your mentoring program. Yeah. Tell me about that. Basically, um, people, you know, it started because I would, I go teach at festivals or songwriting workshops, and people always say, can I meet you for coffee when I come to Nashville? And I was meeting a lot of girls, like young girls especially, mm -hmm. for coffee, and I was getting really busy doing that. And I went, I just need to start doing this as a business. So now um, I, I perform and I write full time, but I also mentor through word of mouth. People can go to my website, georgiamiddleman.com, and inquire about the mentoring, and we can talk online. But basically we do Skype sessions, or I'll meet with somebody one-on-one, -on -one and we Whatever their needs are, whether it's performance or the craft of songwriting or just getting into the business, how I did it. And I really have no advice for anybody. I just have my journey. And I've been doing this for 30 years. So it's been interesting being a woman navigating the fields here in Nashville. It's been great. But it's hard. It's hard for men, too. Mm -hmm. But being a woman, you, we're very emotional <laughs> sometimes. I am. And and you got to grow a thick skin in this business because you hear no all the time. Mm -hmm. And I know it's hard for guys too. But being a woman, I feel like I have things to impart to young girls just about the way it was for me getting through. And, and I've had some amazing luck and success that I'm just so grateful for. But it, there's definitely a, 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 there are tricks of the trade that you just have to learn and how to – how to just stay strong when you're hearing no all the time. Mm -hmm. You got to really find that conviction inside and also just stay on your craft, stay up on it and get better and better until you're undeniable. And that's what, that's what I try to impart to the young people I talk to. Well, that's fantastic. And it sounds like you do it all with like constructive criticism Absolutely. and optimism. Absolutely. Yeah. You, you don't know you, any success I've had has come from left field. I didn't <laughs> know this was going to happen. And just when I was going to quit because I was so discouraged, something wonderful would happen every time. And that's what people don't know. They, you know, they're working jobs to take care of their family and they have this passion for songwriting. And there's something about you can't ignore, you don't have to do it for a living to enjoy it, mm -hmm. but you, you can't ignore nor when you're driven to to doing something artistic because we're all creative beings and it helps our professional lives no matter what career you choose if you can really explore your creative side it helps you stimulate ideas for new businesses and meet people you'd never thought you'd meet it's important to always explore your creativity no matter what you're doing for a living yeah it's well, important. I couldn't agree more. Okay, so I got to talk to you about this now because, you know, <laughs> it's in style country and we got to talk about a sense of style because yes. I'm telling you what, every time I see you, it doesn't matter what you're wearing, but you just show up and you got this whole cool sense of style going on. Thank so you. tell me about oh, it. Oh, I so appreciate that. What I did was I hired a stylist 
for a day. Mm -hmm. And she said, Georgia, you have a cute little body. You're not wearing, like I, I was, I would wear my saloon clothing for the stage and then I'd wear big flowy things mm -hmm. every day because I was hiding my body. I just didn't, I was confused. It was like schizophrenic dressing. And this stylist, um, oh, I can't remember her name. Oh my gosh. She's married to um, Big Kenny. What's his name? Oh, Christiana. Christiana. Yeah. Is that her full name? Christiana? Uh, she has a last name, but she's I don't brilliant. Know. Whoever she is, yeah. and she said, "You have a cute little body, Jordy. You should show it off." And I went, "Really?" And I didn't want to show too much skin because I just didn't feel comfortable mm -hmm. at my age doing that. And so she she turned me on to skinny jeans and tailored looks. And when I look at people like Faith Hill and Jennifer Nettles, and there are certain women that just wear clothes so well, and I notice the shoulders, things that fit your body really nicely. And how to mix and match things. It's cool to have something flowy if you have something tight fitted on top or bottom. So it's just been fun playing with clothes. But I had to, I had to kind of look at my body or actually have someone else tell me that you deserve to wear clothes that show your body. I didn't think I did. I didn't think I had a good body to do that. So it was really nice to have a stylist tell me that. And I've just, it's been fun buying clothes. That's fantastic. Well, it's you know, to, to also to me, it's kind of like, you know, if the mirror could talk. And tell you what you really look like or what you really ought to be doing. Yes. That's what a great stylist does, there I you think, go. right? Yes. I and mean, it's that. funny because I could feel good in something, but look in the mirror and go, oh my God, that looks awful. <laughs> or I see pictures from a gig going, why did I wear that? <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> I know. But oh, it's that's fun. Funny. It's being creative. Okay. So, and I got to ask you about this because when I saw you the other day, yeah. It was a rainy day out, and you had this fantastic raincoat on. Tell oh, me, tell I these totally people the remember. story about it because it's so cool. Here's the thing. When I, I was just at Fido yesterday and I saw this girl in these track pants and I went and they were just so fitted up here and flowy on the bottom bell bottoms. I'm like, where did you get this? I ask whenever I see a woman in any airport who's wearing some kind of piece of clothing that's fabulous, I always inquire where they got it and I try to buy pieces. Well, this raincoat was in the movie uh, um, Silver Linings Playbook oh, with yeah, Jennifer okay. Lawrence. Yeah, yeah. And whoever dressed Jennifer Lawrence in that movie Everything she wore was unbelievable. It was just so stylish to me. And I just remember loving this raincoat she wore in this one scene. And so I went online and I just, I, I looked at, I, I searched images for Jennifer Lawrence from Silver Linings Playbook. And I found one picture of her in that scene. And I noticed it talked about who made the, there was a label on that raincoat. Mm -hmm. And I went to that store which happened to have one in Nashville and I just was praying it was installed and it wasn't anywhere and then I went to the sales rack and it was off season is that what you call it when yeah, it's on yeah, sale right. it was like $59 the most amazing <laughs> raincoat and I could look like Jennifer Lawrence for $59 that's fantastic it was fabulous well and I'll tell you what I mean as everyone can see it really is like ridiculously cool it's cool yeah isn't yeah it? oh yeah it's totally cool <laughs> Well, listen, Georgia, I really appreciate you oh, being here with me fun today. Being here. Thank and you. you. And you're just awesome. And keep writing those hit songs <laughs> and keep looking like a million bucks. Thank you. Thank you're you, so, Chris. You're so welcome. I'm Chris Keaton, and this is In Style Country. Thanks. <laughs>